Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Aries, for August. All right, darling? So we're going to get into three rows for you today. All right, your first row, Aries, we're going to be talking... Oh, girl, the... <laughs> the wind in your first row here we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind today aries it could be romantic could be platonic could be someone in your family or it could be someone business related all right all i know is it's not my business to know your business in that way your second row today aries we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today this could be giving you some guidance in your life or it could just be serving as a confirming message for uh what you're personally suspecting right confirming your intuition and then your third row today aries we're going to make some predictions for you darling all right the future is never solid, but if you continue maintaining on the path that you have been going on, Aries, I can get a pretty good idea what's going to happen in your life, all right? But we're just, let's start out this energy here today, Aries, with that moon card stepping forward to you. When I first see this energy here, it's like, I get like this energy of where something's about to go down, all right, Aries? It's like something's about to be going down in your life. In like a social way coming in here, even as well, I wanted to point out the Ace of Cups is in the back of the deck here, Aries. So... I feel like it's kind of relevant energy in this way where it's like the ace of cups represents new love new opportunities coming in for you so i feel like someone um that maybe you haven't really had too much communication with aries or maybe this is someone just entirely new coming into your life in the coming days aries so be paying attention to who just like you might be even like when they first approach you, you're just like what do you want like what is your angle here and i feel like you should just be open to it in regards to opportunities here aries all right with that moon card all right i like this a lot for you because this is letting you know about an unexpected opportunity coming forward to you that you just were not prepared for all right for some of you aries you might be getting reached out by someone that you really greatly admire for some type of work opportunity for others of you Aries I just see like a door opening up that you wouldn't really anticipate opening up for you and I even get like this message is just being like wow I didn't expect that to be that easy right so that's what I see on that remember Aries this is going to be influencing all three of your rows here so let's get talking about the person that's on your mind right now all right interesting you got that tower as well as that Libran energy coming in here that nice um or I say <laughs> Libran justice card tower justice card coming in so that nice Libra Scorpio energy here with that two of swords coming in all right so aries it feels like when it comes to this person here you're asking yourself the question of being like is this it are we done here like you know when i don't know what happened obviously between you and this person but you're just like you're left with a choice now where you're just like all right like you can't continue doing the same thing that you have been doing with this person here it's like when it comes to the situation something has to change something has to give all right when i first initially see this two of swords here i want to also acknowledged with that justice energy it's like i don't know i get like this sense of like yin and yang energy here aries some of you guys when it comes to this person you're just like okay i can see the value in them i can see where it is that they are trying to come at this and just want to work things out but at the same time aries it's like there's something that you can't choose to be blind to anymore um when it comes to this connection here in that tower energy here as well it just lets me know where it's just like this is a make it or break it honey all right this is like a situation where you're just like hey if something doesn't change like we're done right i also get like a sneaking suspicion for, now this is going to be very specific if this is like someone that you've been dating or wanting to date or just wanting something to be revealed with this here aries i feel like that's going to be happening all right now i'm not going to say i'm not saying yet y'all are going to be getting proposed to or anything like that but i want to kind of take away the negative narrative people who initially see this first row Aries where they're just like oh gosh that tower energy like this isn't good right but it, this easily could be in the sense of what when it comes to this person here like the change that needed to happen was like that change of like further commitments wanting to take this situation more serious right so it doesn't immediately have to represent this way Aries of like something extremely negative it could literally just represent a way of where it's just like especially because of that justice card things coming back into balance with this here i easily could see this sense of where it's just like maybe this person uh you and this person always would get into fights or misunderstandings or there's always just like some type of problem and i feel like that that could easily be getting remedied or rectified uh this week here let me just put it down here so you can actually see that properly here aries. all right so that's what i initially see with that here aries i also get like this impression here um personally of where it's like 
I get like this feeling airs it's like you always have like your intuition about something like you know how people sometimes when it comes to proposals like it's not really too much of a surprise for some people and when it happens like when they actually propose you're just like oh see i had i had a suspicion right i feel like you have a suspicion when that comes about when it comes to this person here especially with this third row here with that sun card clarity be happening so when we get into this it'll speak big time here but i also get like this feeling of someone like confessing something uh aries and it's just like breaking the not breaking the ice but like the sense of like addressing an elephant here that's what I get with this. Two of Pentacles here. Again, there is like, uh, tell me if you also notice this here. Maybe I'm just being crazy, darling. It's not that far off, right? But it's like, I'm noticing, again, there's like this yin and yang energy. There's always just like one side and then another side. All this juggling act here, uh, Aries. It's almost like this sense for you, Page of Pentacles. Ugh, I like this, actually. This talks about communication. This talks about someone coming forward to you. Like, I feel like when it comes to this person here, it's like maybe they're making more time to engage with you or try to talk to you about a problem to take care of something here. And then that strength card coming in. Yeah, it's like a tough conversation is going to be happening. But the outcome of this is going to be an uh, outcome of, girl, <laughs> I can't hold these cards. Aries. It's like the outcome of this is like a change in perspective with this hanged man here in the back of the deck i also want to point out the hanged man can be seen as either like a sun in the bat behind them or this like a halo but in, especially in this artwork it depicts aries the sense of like um clarity being had again kind of referencing the sun card that we have in this third row here uh aries so i see this as where it's just like yeah a change is really drastically coming when it comes to this relationship here there's no this like the sense of like there's no going back a choice is having to be made here aries but it's like what comes to light about this situation it changes the dynamic of this greatly it changes how you see this person and vice versa but i feel like this is something where it's like breaking like a getting out of like a rut or like finally having progression when it comes to this relationship here all right i feel like you when it comes to this person here aries like um it was like that sense of where you didn't really know where you stood with this person perhaps for some of you guys here but regardless of the situation i do want to say just be anticipating some type of communication here with that page of pentacles all right darling so be on the lookout for that it's really kind of interesting especially because of that sun card it's really the best card in the tarot deck aries so I really want to be stressing that sense of like don't be too don't spiral because you got that tower card darling like i would tell you straight up and be like oh darling this doesn't look good here but i really do feel optimistic about that uh there because of the sun is the best card in the tarot deck now getting into what you need to hear today uh aries you have that five and six of swords here all right as well as that eight of pentacles all right and so what you need to hear today aries is that well, yes, right now I see you in this place of just really stressing out and just being at the uh, wondering like where your next move is. That's really what I get with this is like you're wondering where your next move is. And I feel like the next move for you is like walking away aries from situations that always have you in your head you know it's interesting i was like there was this person that was looking for some help about trying to find out if the person was lying to them or not and my perspective was it's just you know i told him it's just like you know instead of relying on some type of magical endeavor to figure out if someone's lying to you or not because it's really hard to accurately do just confront them about it and if you don't feel comfortable confronting them about it or if they're lying to you about it aries then just book it like do you really want to even have this relationship in your life if you can feel like you trust them anyways you know and i kind of get this energy for you here aries where it's just like leaning further into your intuition about things and walking away from certain situations that it's like realizing that something is something or someone doesn't have to be a quest that you have to complete does that make sense aries for you don't be afraid of uh moving on essentially here with this eight of pentacles some of you guys might be having like this sense of like i kind of get this sense some of y'all feeling drawn to changing things up in your life changing about like maybe your career path or education field or something like that here aries it's like you've been sitting here it's just like man i really want to do this big transition in my life but i don't know if it's going to work out right and i i mean for one i see this working out here but it's like your path right now here aries is like destined right now to put you in a place of forcing you to be uncomfortable here all right i feel like this sense of where it's like you're going to be dealing with like uncomfortable conversations and also just this sense for you aries of like 
realizing that it's just like you have to move on from situations that have just been taxing you mentally i have a sneeze coming honey so if you notice me <laughs> making weird faces that's why but let's further clarify this here but really aries what i want to be saying if you've been having a lot of stresses in regards to like your finances especially i see you guys moving on from that but i do feel like you're the way that you uh come to uh rectify those financial stresses for example is through not through working hard on the things that you have been doing but it's through experimentation trying out something else you know and what i feel i hear for like some of you aries it's like it's time for you to put a price tag or to raise your price tag on certain things that you are able to do some of you aries are sitting on like a talent um that if you were to lean into more areas i feel like it would be extremely profitable right maybe you have a secret talent for reading tarot or maybe you have a talent for you know being a life coach whatever it is aries it's like i don't know i get like this sense of where you're uncomfortable with the idea of charging money for something that you personally that comes easy to you but just because it comes easy to you doesn't mean it comes easy to everybody else aries all right so the answer to your financial uh distress comes in through experimentation the reason why some of you guys are like you might be asking the question is like why isn't certain things working out i've been doing this all along now all of a sudden it's not working the way that it usually does that's the reason why aries spirit really wants you to be experimenting especially what's going on astrologically right now every like every tarot reader has been telling people that follows astrology is to don't be afraid of, don't be afraid of experimenting right ace of wands lean into your passions more quite literally this is the card of leaning into your passions aries and not being afraid of um pr uh, presenting yourself as an authority and places all right so you have i mean darling i i clocked it right here and there honey all right with this five of pentacles darling this is like anxieties over stresses this is an anxiety over feeling as if you don't belong belong in certain spaces here and it's right on top of that five of swords even aries so it's like even in a social setting you might feel like you don't belong in certain social settings here and i would be even telling you aries instead of trying to go to this group and be like hey you're really making me feel like the third wheel or feel like you make me feel like i'm insignificant right you know sometimes we have those connections where it's like you don't even know if they even care about you like you could stop talking them to them today aries and like you wouldn't hear from them for the rest of your life and you know that and it kind of bothers you but then I answer, I ask you the question is like, if you know this Aries, like why even further engage with them here? I feel like you need to stop internalizing things, Aries, about like how certain things are making you feel that way. You're not feeling certain ways just because you're insecure. I mean, some of you guys, you know, I'm not going to speak too boldly. I'm not, you know, sometimes like our minds are our biggest like villain here, but it's like, <sighs> you're taking on too many burdens that are not your own and then trying to rectify them rather than just being like you know what i don't have to deal with this i can just leave you know don't be afraid to just leave and you know aries all right you have the nine of cups coming in here this is literally and i mean it's a really good card aries but this is i see this where it's like you know it's not the ten of cups you know by definition the nine of cups aries represents a wish being granted for you you know a lot of fabulousness in that way but it's like i always say like the minor this the small suits the from one to the ten of cups right it's like you're on the journey to get that ten of cups right the eight of cups is like you're leaving a current situation because you want more the nine of cups you're starting to see a sign of things tar starting to manifest themselves you're just like oh wait a minute i think i can make something out of this you know lean into this more and that way like that's what i get for you aries it's like it's time for you to no longer settle maybe this at one point in time certain situations served you but again i get like this push for you aries where it's just like you could do something so much greater than what it is that you're currently doing now but you have to be willing to make yourself uncomfortable ask yourself the question aries about what's going on in your current life that you know for no reason for no reason at all like you're noticing things are just not working out in the same way that it usually does notice take note of where the discomforts are starting to come in where the obstacles are starting to come in aries because i feel like that's a sign from spirit of trying to direct you of where they want you to be putting more energy into next all right so let's get into now your predictions here Aries. see what's going to be happening for you so as i was saying beforehand right we had that sun card popping out for you 
consistently here and then we even had with that moon energy aries all right so it's like what was left what was being left in the dark is coming to the light for you uh truths are being heard especially because we had that libra energy right with that justice energy i feel like truths are going to be coming out maybe it's your truth coming out uh aries but i also feel when it comes to this here aries where it's just like your path for a while now hasn't been making sense you're just like you probably haven't even been asking spirit to being like bring some clarity oh darling i'm just now <laughs> i'm just now realizing this is the eight of cups here i didn't even look at that part of this third row here and i was just going on that whole tangent about the nana cups right so quite literally here, Aries, you are on that journey of the Eight of Cups. Don't be settling, especially when it comes to people in your life, that lover's energy, all right? Don't be settling. Don't be afraid of seeing someone in your life or seeing certain projects or situations in your life as a season. Seasons come to an end, all right? It serves its purposes when it's at its time, right? You know, when winter comes, honey, all right? If you're in a place where it snows, you know, when the snow first happens, it's fabulous, right? We're making snowmen. We're making snow cones, honey, all right? Right? we're doing all of it right we're skiing we're sledding but then as anyone knows especially from the north or, you know where it snows a lot honey once summer once winter ends honey it's just kind of like that sense of being like oh, thank god because it's like by the time you're done with it you're tired of seeing snow you're tired of seeing that dirty snow and just like you know you had fun making snow angels at the beginning honey but at the end where it's just like all that snow is just like miserable and you have to shovel it out it's no longer fun and i feel like that's your story right now uh aries like you went through, you started out a beautiful winter season and then when the snow was there it's like nice and powdery and just fabulous but as the time has gone on as you as many of y'all i'm sure you will know as time goes on that pretty you know white fluffy snow it don't last too long honey all right it starts becoming like that dirty uh slush it just isn't it isn't what it isn't given what it normally gives aries all right so I feel like for you guys, uh, Aries, your main message this week is just not being afraid of going out into the dark. All right. Even with the eight of cups, while I know in this artwork, it doesn't really depict it. But if you look on other artworks of illustrations of the eight of cups, Aries, it represents usually someone uh an, an individual girl an individual aries who's walking away from their eight cups going out towards the moon representing leave like they're going out into the unknown they don't know if they're going to get to 10 cups but they just have something in their hearts or hearts that is telling them to move on right but in this artwork it's kind of beautiful actually because once again instead of the moon you have the sun right and so it's really fabulous in this way, Aries, where it's just like you're consistently being told, like you get the you get the one up, Aries, and knowing how things are going to be playing out for you. You get the one up and knowing like if you take this risk, it's going to pay off with that beautiful sun that keeps on popping out for you. All right. I see you, Aries, for those especially that have been walking away from people or been feeling really drawn to walking away from certain people you probably have definitely outgrown people here aries all right that's what i get with this is like you've outgrown people but you haven't been wanting to move on from those people all right once you choose to move on from those situations at least we'll just call it that are no longer given what it usually used to give for you aries that's when that new energy is going to come into the space in your space all right but definitely clarity is going to be coming for you darling i love you so much aries hopefully this tarot reading helped you out be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign and give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot and it's free to do i love you so much aries um, bye darling